Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you have an amazing day out there and get to spend some time with your, your friends and your family and hopefully some time out, outdoors and enjoying God's beauty. And also taking a minute to remember why we have this day. And just remember what what was given for us, what the cost was, and why we have this day. And I wanted to uh, <clears throat> tell you what I did yesterday and it was uh, it was kind of interesting. I went downtown with with a couple of buddies of mine. Actually, one guy I knew and one guy uh, I did not. And then there were some others. And we went downtown and we fed well, probably close to 200 uh, homeless people. And why I bring this up because it, it really impacted me, right? And and I like to give back. That's just me. I, I have a big heart. I've always had a big heart. Feeding homeless people is not something new to me because I've I've done it. Well, probably a hundred times in, in my life. But for whatever reason, it really impacted me yesterday because we started to feed these people and they just kept coming through the doors and through the doors and there was more. And originally I said, how many people do you think we'll, we'll feed today? And she said, oh, probably 80, maybe a hundred. And so we filled up these plates and they started to come and they continued to come. And so we filled more plates and then we ran out of vegetables. So we had chicken and we had rice and we had a dessert and we had a roll. And then we then we ran out of ran out of desserts and then we ran out of rolls and then we ran out of chicken. And people just kept coming and as they came there was less and less food and it really kind of broke my heart as these people came to the line and they just didn't have anything to eat. And I know that <clears throat> you know some people might say well why don't they just go get a job? And the truth of the matter is, as I talked to these people, some of these guys were vets, maybe Vietnam, maybe the Iraqi wars, but they served our country and they came back and they just couldn't keep a job because of how tough it was. Some of these guys were humbled and they said, you know what, I had a 30 year love affair with, with alcohol and it cost me everything. It cost me my, my marriage and my, my kids, five kids, my home, my cars, everything. Some of these people were just Regular workers like you and I who said, I had a job and then the economy crashed and now I don't have a job. I don't have a home. You know, and they bring this up for us because <clears throat> we have a lot. We're very blessed. You know, even even if you live in a shack that doesn't have running water, it's still better than these guys that are living on the street. You know, and even if you had one meal today, it's, it's a lot better than these guys who are digging through the garbage cans. You know, and, and it really impacted me and it broke my heart as I saw these guys continue to come through and there was nothing. They didn't have it. You know, and so I bring this up today because today is Memorial Day and, and it's an important day, you know, and it's not just a day just to have barbecue, but it's to remember. Remember what the soldiers did for us, but also remember what we have, you know, and, and it's important to remember that every day of the week just to remember, hey, we have so much. I mean, I woke up with a bed today. I had covers on top of me. I haven't ate yet, but I will eat, right? I, I used a bathroom. I haven't showered, but I will. I'm gonna have hot water, I'm gonna have soap. I'm healthy, I'm strong, right? I have a job. And then I have a lot of things that a lot of people don't even have on top of that, right? I have a sound mind, right? I'm healthy. I have a little cat that's running around here causing hell. I have a vehicle, right? I have a relationship with my creator. I have all these cool things and I'm so blessed. And I just bring that up because don't get caught up in, in the little stuff and think about what you don't have, but be thankful for what you do have and go hug someone today. Go love on someone today. Go tell someone you appreciate them. I appreciate you guys. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm going to go out. I'm going to spend time with friends. And I'm going to tell them how much they mean to me. So you guys, have an amazing day. Just remember, okay? Just remember. Be thankful. Have an amazing day, okay? All right. God bless you guys. Peace.